Chimera, the most popular hero during the PlayStation closed beta. Not only is he easy to play, but his build diversity is criminally underrated. He has lots of flexibility in both his bruiser and tank builds. You'll want the warrior crest for the bruiser route and titan crest for a more tanky playstyle. Knowing which to choose will ultimately depend on your team comp and the enemy team comp. When building Chimera, be dynamic and adapt from a match to match basis. I'm going to go over why certain items are good on him, but more importantly when you should build them. There's a lot of items and combinations, so strap in and let's go. If you're building Bruiser Kai, go with Icecorn Talons. It provides an area-wide physical power increase, slows the enemies in it, and increases allies' move speed. This has a short cooldown, so you can use it very often. Overlord will be your first item to build on Chimera. You have to quickly clear jungle camps in the early game in order to beat places faster. When building Overlord, make sure you build this side of the tree in order to get Barbaric Cleaver, which grants you faster jungle clear. For your second item, build Basilisk. This item gives you a ton of health, power, and haste, all of which a bruiser likes. You can shred 24% physical armor from multiple targets for 3 seconds. All you have to do is damage them 6 times and it's very easy on Kai. Not just his unleash either, Kai's ultimate hits 6 times. So if you can catch multiple people in your stun, you'll shred away armor for both you and your team to deal more physical damage. And because they will have 6 stacks of Corrode, you'll deal more damage based on their missing health greatly increasing your team fight lethality. When building Basilisk, make sure you build this side of the tree in order to get Ruthless Broadsword, which grants you faster access to the Corrode effect. For your third item, this is where you want both power and some armor. The armor type depends on the enemy team comp and who the bigger threats are. If you want to build for hybrid physical armor, you can build Draconum, Citadel, or Elafrost. Whereas for a hybrid magical armor option, build Tectonic Mallet. It's up to you. Dracona boosts your physical power and health regen and heals you on kill. Citadel makes your team fighting even more lethal via your percent armor reduction aura, and Elafrost's area burst benefits greatly from all the physical power and bonus health you're building. Tectonic Mallet works well when Icecorn Talons and when Kai reaches 15 stacks on his passive. Kai has a base move speed of 685. Tectonic Mallet raises this to 719. Now when Kai gets all that bonus move speed from Spear Regeneration and Ice Gordon Talons, Tech Mallet will grant you extra physical power and resistance to slows, which are valuable to Kai since he doesn't have an escape in his kit. Whichever item you choose, pick the other armor type for your fourth item slot and this time pick a non-hybrid full-on tank item. These options include Crystalline Kyrus, Tainted Bastion, and Unbroken Will if you built Draconum, Citadel, or Elafrost. Likewise, if you built Tectonic Mallet Third, your options to cover your physical armor are Tainted Guard, Frost Guard, Stone Wall, Giant's Ring, Elafrost, and Warden's Faith. Any combinations of these are solid and it largely depends on the enemy team. Tainted Guard and Tainted Bastion are great for providing anti-heal to the team, Unbroken Will if they have a ton of crowd control, Frost Guard is great against physical attackers that are more on hit and attack speed reliant. Warden's Faith is when they have more than one carry building crit. Giant's Ring, Stonewall, and Crystalline are all solid items. When in doubt, just build these items. For your last item, build another one of the items I mentioned and it largely depends. But there are a few interactions you can keep an eye out for. Build Salvation if you built Unbroken Will for 60% total tenacity, which is the cap. Tainted Guard works well with another physical armor item since the bleed damage is based off of your total physical armor. So as you can see, Chimera's Crest and first two items are pretty much staples, but everything after that is conditional, so use your best judgment. Now that I covered Bruiser Kai, here's my go-to Tank Kai build. Saphir's Mantle, Overlord, Bonesaw, and then a bunch of tank items. Bonesaw gives a ton of health, a decent amount of power, and strong passives. One of them gives you 30% attack speed if you land 9 basic attacks, and this passive here is every third basic attack slows and deals bonus damage based off of your max health. The keyword here is max. You probably see where this is going. Saphir's Mantle gives 300 health. The active is called Atlas. You increase your max health by 12% for 6 seconds. 
so your bone saw will deal more damage. During these 6 seconds, you deal bonus true damage to enemies and the bonus true damage is determined by your maximum health. True damage doesn't care about armor, so you can stack your sapphires on anyone, even the tanks. So use sapphires right before you're about to go ham on someone. After you revert back to your normal size, 20% of the true damage you dealt, you get to keep as permanent HP for the rest of the game. You can keep doing this every 75 seconds. Just like the Bruiser build, the crest and first two items are staples and the rest of the build ultimately depends on the enemy team comp. So even though you are building super tanky, your damage keeps up pretty well. Let's finish the build. Count up how many physical attackers and magical attackers there are on the enemy team, but exclude out their support since their job is not to inflict high amounts of damage. 
More often than not, you'll be building to counter their main damage dealers. Raymond of Renewal and Void Helm are decent choices. Go with Unbroken Will if the enemy team has a ton of crowd control. Build Tainted Bastion to counter AP healers such as Countess, Sev, Narbash, Mori, and FaZe. Crystalline Curious is your best go-to magical armor item. It gives up to 90 magical armor, highest in the game, and can give you 15% bonus move speed. Elafrost is a great option if you would like a bit more damage. Tainted Guard is great at providing anti-heal and works best with an additional physical armor item. Giant's Ring, like I mentioned before, is solid for cooldowns and mitigation. Warden's Faith is great when they have two carries building crit. Stonewall is fantastic, especially against assassins. And finally, Frost Guard is great to counter heroes that are building on hit or attack speed. But that's enough out of me. I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below. Leave a like if you haven't already. It helps me make more content like this. If you like my content, consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next predecessor video. Medkit out.